Spot dynamic stage yellow, the systemic and relativistic stage. Stage yellow is the first stage on tier two. Tier two now understands the spiral. Stage yellow understands the lower stages and their points of view. Ideas are now deeper and more multi-dimensional. Things aren't black and white anymore. There's no objective right or wrong. Nobody's evil, bad or crazy. Everyone just has their own perspective. Now at stage yellow, you're not as focused on survival needs as you were on the lower stages. Instead of focusing on more money, sex, fame, now you focus on contributing to the world and having a life purpose. So when the stage yellow emerge. Collectively, well, there is no group or society that would be at stage yellow yet. But once a society evolves and understands the complexity and nuance of the world, once politics starts focusing on finding solutions for the whole spiral instead of just spouting out your own agenda, that's when we'll start to have a stage yellow society. And individually, you evolve to stage yellow when you realize that the world is complex and that there can be multiple perspectives that are true at the same time. And also when you realize that complex issues require complex nuanced solutions. You could also evolve to stage yellow by realizing that there's more to life than surface level spirituality, more to life than emotions and connections, and that stage green solutions like protesting doesn't solve complex issues. That you need to look at things from different perspectives in order to find solutions that actually work. Now stage orange and stage yellow are often confused, so I'd like to clarify what the difference is. Because a lot of people at stage orange like to think they're at stage yellow. Stage orange and stage yellow are both left-brained, individualistic stages that focus on self-improvement. That's why they can easily be confused. But funnily enough, the easiest way to tell them apart is by asking them to rate themselves on the spiral. Someone at stage orange will most likely rate themselves yellow, because they want to appear more evolved or better in some way. Whereas someone at stage yellow would be more humble, and they would understand that things aren't necessarily always so black and white. Remember, stage yellow builds upon stage green. Another way to tell the difference is by looking if they're judgmental. Stage yellow understands the different levels. It understands the different perspectives, so it doesn't judge them. Whereas stage orange doesn't see the spiral yet, so it judges people who think differently. A lot of stage orange people judge stage blue people who are religious, or stage green people who are vegans, etc. But stage yellow understands both of these stages, so it doesn't judge them. Yellow sees value and purpose in all the stages, whereas orange might think that some are unnecessary. For example, religion is unnecessary, or vegan and woke culture is unnecessary, etc. And now again, yellow isn't as focused on personal problems, whereas stage orange really wants more money and sex, etc. And also, stage yellow has a feminine side to it that strengthens its masculine side, instead of being macho and toxic like at stage orange. Now that we have that out of the way, what are the characteristics of stage yellow? Yellow is systemic, it uses systems thinking. Now first, what is a system? A system is a group of things which has qualities that the individual parts don't have. For example, a friend group, your family, your class or your workplace, they have qualities that the individual people don't have. For example, groupthink, as well as complex relations between the people. Those are all qualities that the individuals don't have in themselves. Now a lot of things can be analyzed as a complex system. For example, your body, an ecosystem, a political party, a religion, a belief system, a computer, the economy, a country, they're all systems. And systems thinking is thinking in terms of these systems. Instead of thinking about the individuals, you think about the whole system as a whole. If someone's rude to you, you don't blame that person for being rude. You think about the system that made them like that. Or if you're stuck in traffic, you don't blame the car in front of you, you think about what could have led to that traffic. That is systems thinking, and that's how yellow operates. Which makes yellow excellent in leadership positions, for example in politics, could think about the effects that a legislation could have in some completely different field. So stage yellow looks at systems and can easily spot these interconnected parts, and thus can solve complex issues that other lower stages could not. Next, another characteristic of stage yellow is that it's aware of its own perspectives and biases. Stage yellow does a lot of contemplation and self-reflection. Next, stage yellow is relativistic and multi-perspectival. There's no one perspective that's true, there are all these different perspectives that all have some truth to them. This makes stage yellow very open-minded, because stage yellow is able to consider ideas outside of its own belief system, ideas others might think are crazy. At stage yellow you're also open to learning from people you don't like, people you disagree with, as well as from opposing belief systems. Because stage yellow is relativistic, it doesn't hold strong sides. It's not conservative or liberal or this or that, because there are multiple perspectives which are true. There's no one best perspective. Stage yellow can hop between perspectives, understanding things from the different stages points of view, which makes them excellent as leaders again because they're able to communicate with these different stages. They're able to find solutions that fit the stages. And self-improvement at stage yellow is now more about holistic self-help, improving all the fields of your life, your relationship, emotions, as well as success and health, instead of just focusing on your emotions and connection, or just focusing on getting healthy and strong, or making a lot of money, stage yellow focuses on all at the same time. And now it's time for some stage yellow values. Stage yellow values complexity and systems thinking, open-mindedness, multi-perspectiveness, or different points of view, creativity, the big picture. A big one is knowledge, learning, and understanding. Stage yellow loves to learn, and is often a lifetime learner. 
Stage yellow values spot dynamics and other similar models. Spirituality, health, life purpose, stage yellow values ecology and responsible ways of being, sustainability, etc. And now the best part, the list of examples. First, we have some people at stage yellow. We have Abraham Maslow, who made the hierarchy of needs. We have Carl Jung, who even had some of stage turquoise in him. The fathers of quantum mechanics, David Bohm, Schrodinger, Einstein, Richard Feynman, etc. We have Joseph Campbell, Claire Graves. Top intellectuals and philosophers tend to be at stage yellow. We have Steve Jobs, as well as Joe Rogan. The best leaders and teachers tend to be at stage yellow, as well as the top of life coaches, though many are at stage orange. Next, some things at stage yellow. We have Wikipedia. Wikipedia, we have Maslow's hierarchy of needs, as well as the spiral dynamics model itself. Now some behaviors at stage yellow. Lifelong learning, reading books, meditation, seeking out different perspectives, systems thinking, as well as brainstorming, contemplation and affirmations. And lastly, some ideas at stage yellow. We had spiral dynamics already, then we have chaos theory, as well as quantum mechanics, and the study of ecology. And as an extra, here's some stage yellow sayings if you want to pause the video. Now, where can we find stage yellow? Only about 1% of the global population is at stage yellow, and it only has around 4% of the global influence because of social media, books, and programs. In terms of places where you can find stage yellow, you can find them at the top of academia or in various different self-improvement workshops, etc. Now, what triggers stage yellow? Because stage yellow is a tier 2 stage and understands the perspectives of the spiral, the reason people act the way they do, it takes a lot more to trigger stage yellow. Stage yellow can, however, get frustrated. For example, when the lower stages don't understand each other and fight amongst themselves. Also, non-systemic thinking, black and white thinking, and biased thinking, that can frustrate stage yellow. Or strong, rigid ideologies. Stage yellow gets frustrated when there's no room for development, as well as when development takes too long to do. For example, in politics. Now, some issues with stage yellow. Knowledge and understanding don't lead to happiness. Happiness is not found in models and theories. It's not found in thinking and perspectives. Ultimately, it's not found in the mind. And there's more to life than information and understanding and mind stuff. Stage yellow is often too individualistic, often having a lone wolf mentality. But the issue is that complex global issues don't get solved just by having the answer. You need global cooperation. Cooperation and community is needed. So how can you transcend stage yellow? Recognize that knowledge and understanding aren't all there is to life. They don't make you happy. And instead of thinking, focus on being. Focus on experiencing life through meditation, mystical experiences, letting go of your thinking and your mind, as well as your sense of self, your ego. Start meditating and doing self-inquiry, or in other words, contemplate who and what you are. Next, join a community or create one yourself, because that community is needed to solve complex issues. It's needed to have a wider impact on the world. And lastly, integrate all the lower stages. That's how you evolve to the next stage, the holistic global stage, stage turquoise. Watch that video right here. That's all.